Good morning, y'all. Um, I'm going to specifically be talking about bitter tonics this morning. Um, but one of the herbs I would really like to use for it, I don't have any made at this time. So I'm going to make a tincture and I will be adding it to my remedy when it gets finished. So what I have in this little jar is organic dandelion root. Very extremely helpful. Liver, um, acid reflux, stomach issues, digestive. Does a lot of really good things for your body. Now there are different ways to make this. I personally use vodka because when I combine this with stuff, I usually put it in, you know, my drops in my coffee and I can't taste the vodka anyway. I'm not a big drinker, but I can't taste it anyway. Some people use um, glycerin, which is, sorry, the stuff, food grade, vegetable glycerin. I have made some stuff with this, but personally, since I went on my detox thing and I'm not craving sweets and all that anymore, and too sweet is just really nasty to me. So, um, and some people use um, apple cider vinegar. So, you know, you have your options on what to use. Personally, I use alcohol. Get a hundred proof, and yes, I always have something under me because I'm a speller. And then you're just gonna cover the herb. There you go. And you're going to put a lid on it, label it, and um, you're going to put it somewhere cool, in a cool, dark place. I like to do about four weeks. I like to pull out the maximum effects of the herb. So tinctures are really that easy. You can make them using a lot of different herbs. As you'll see, I'm even basil and all kinds of things. The world's your oyster out there with doing this. And they keep a really, really, really long time. I've had some of mine since 2012. Five years already and they're still fine. Um, and I still use them. So this is part one of Bitter Tonics. So I will be back with part two when I get this labeled and put in the put away so I can eventually add it to my bitter tonic. Be right I'm back. Start making my bitters tonic, and all I'm simply going to do is combine um, some of my tinctures that I know will help my body. And I should have pre-opened these before I started the camera because some of these really give me some heck. My hands are just not as good as they used to be at this point, but I'm working on it. Okay, so the first one I have in here is, um, in my dropper, is St. John's Wort, and I'm going to put a dropper full, and I will rinse it out. <laughs> okay. St. John's Wort um, is for, basically, <laughs> anxiety, stress, depression. I'm not depressed. But I have been having a lot of stress lately simply for the fact that a lot's been going on physically and emotionally. Spiritually is what's getting me through here. But anyway, it is also a bitter. It is very bitter. So I'm adding that one. And where did you go, my dear? I'm also adding Yarrow Tincture. Again, I'm just doing this in... Um, equal portions. This one is Yarrow. It's for digestive aid. And that's what bitter tinctures actually do. If you're having problems with kind of acid reflux or heartburns and things like that, um, we tend to overlook bitters and I really found out from having my chicory plant that the more of the bitters I consume, the less I'm plagued with this stuff. And, man, it's been fantastic. Um, I'm also going to do in here hyssop, which is for stomach cramps, gas, 
upset stomachs. In goes another dropper full. I'm really not trying to cross contaminate, but they all get mixed anyway, so not really too concerned about it. And oh, I forgot to open this one. Huh. Here we go. Fever few. Fever few is extremely bitter. It's an anti-inflammatory. It does help with headaches and things really well too. That's really not why I'm using it. I'm using it for its bitter portions and actually for the anti-inflammatory. Um, figure I can help my stomach and my other aches and pains in one shot. So how can you beat that? The last one I am using and this one at this point right now is basil. In goes the basil. And this is also an anti-inflammatory. It's good for stomach cramps. You know the pain that comes when you get the acid reflux and things. Um, for indigestion, side benefits, constipation, which that's that one's not my problem, but you know you can also there are several that you can use of course the dandelion root that I just made you can do fennel seed orange peels whorehound chamomile I mean really there's a lot of very bitter herbs out there um, these bitters affect your heart your intestines your liver your gallbladder your pancreas so really I would caution you only you know what your health problems are you know but go and research these things don't ever make a tincture or put something on your skin because you see a video about it without trying and testing out these things because you can have allergic reactions you can find an allergy you never knew you had it can, these things can counteract against meds that you're on like for me I take heart meds so therefore, I have to be very careful with turmeric, and people are pushing that one really, really hard, but what that does is it cancels out my, my, my heart medicine, which is not a good thing. So always go and investigate. I am not a doctor. I don't play one on TV, nor do I pretend to be, but I do want to treat my health um, less, the least pharmaceutical way that I can. I'm appreciative of doctors. I am appreciative that we live in a time where a lot of things are available, but I still want to go the all-natural route because I believe the things that plague our bodies are, were put on this earth in, in the beginning. Um, it's just our diligence and duty to go search them out and find them. But again, be cautious and don't just, don't just put anything in your system without knowing how you're going to react to it, okay? So what I've done is I've mixed these up and I am just going to pour them in here and I'll probably need to do a double batch because the bottle's only about eh, halfway full. I don't think it will show on the cam, but yeah, not so much. About half full. And what I'm just going to simply do is I'm going to put a dropper full in my beverage in a beverage before I eat that's about that's really all about it you know you can make a bigger batch obviously if you want to double it triple it whatever you have um, but I'm finding these things are helping me and I do keep the chicory in on my diet for those who are suffering with this problem I eat the chicory greens they were excruciatingly bitter at first but now I find that I really like them they taste good to me and they have like I said alleviated so many of my problems fever few is one to be cautious with if you're gonna eat it raw it's uber bitter and it can cause irritation to eat the the green leaf which is kinda why I'm doing it in the tincture it's gonna be combined with the others and 
you know, won't be such a powerful punch because I want this to work in my system, not agitate it. That's about all I got for you guys today. So I'm going to be titling this video Bitter Tonic. When my dandelion gets done, it will be added with these other oils. Oils. Ah. Uh, it will be added with these other tinctures. No oils involved in this one. As part of my daily routine to combat acid reflux, which has not been bad lately, and I'm thankful, thankful, thankful. Y'all have a wonderful day, and God bless you.